what's going on this is me back with another video um <clears throat> I was just here watching some some Bob's Burgers just watching TV and uh, out of nowhere at the corner of my eye I saw something real quick just flash right by so I really didn't think anything of it I really didn't think anything of it so I just continued watching my show and then as I uh I look back down, I see the little the little mouse. He just poked his head out and started looking at me. And I was just standing still and as soon as I moved, it went right back in real quick. And so we didn't have any mouse traps. Like the the sticky glue ones. I checked the pantry and there was nothing in there and I was just like, Well there was a box and it was just empty. So I was like, Well what good is this gonna do? And so now I well I went to the store. And I went to go buy some. And I, I know they like dog food. I have a big bag of... Let's see if you can see it. Uh, right there. Right there. That right there. A big bag of dog food. And they're all around it. So I bought some of those sticky glue pads. And I uh, put some dog food on it. Dog food on it. So now I'm just going to... Uh, and it's two o'clock in the morning, so and I can't sleep because of that now. And so now I'm just waiting for the squeals, the squeaking, uh, whenever they get stuck. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit here and wait. I don't know if you can see it. It's like right there, the little glue pad. But yeah, so that that's basically it. And I'll be back whenever. Hey, hopefully we catch one. I don't know what time it'll be. But we'll see. Okay, so it's been about maybe three days after I made uh, the video. So it's a Wednesday right now, and I think I had made that video like late Sunday. So it was like uh, 2 o'clock in the morning on Monday. So uh, I we actually we found out what why we had the little mice that were in our room or in my room and in the kitchen. Which led to them running out of one running out of my room, and I found both of them. Uh, I had, like I had said, I went to the store, and I went to, I think I said, but I had went to the store, went to Walmart to go buy the mouse traps, and you know those little sticky glue pads. Put them down, and uh, it was like the next day, and you know I do those fit camps, you know, for the Herbalife, and so I was gone with my my mother. We went to the fit camp, and my sister went, and even my uh, friend's niece went. My friend had to stay and cut his grass, but he uh, he didn't go. So we were at we were out, and then uh, I my sister's niece my sister's niece my friend's niece wanted to come over, and so I was at their house for a little bit, and I had already I jumped off my mom and my sister here at the house, and so <clears throat> I had, where I had stick the sticky glue pads was one in the kitchen, uh, around the sink area, and then there was one uh, by the dog food. Because I have the food open, so I'm, you know, I was like, okay, well, maybe one will try to look for some that are around before it tries to climb up or make a hole and go in. So, uh, that one ended up catching one, and then one by the sink area ended up catching one too. And what I had put on there was a, uh, was like two pieces of dog food, and then I had put like some syrup just so it can smell sweet so they can go to the, the scent. And it actually, I caught them. And so, when I was at my friend's house, my mother, my mom ended up calling me and telling me that, you know, the the mice are stuck on the, the sticky pads coming, you need to come and put them in the trash. So, it was like maybe 30 minutes later, and I ended up getting there, coming back here, and uh, the, the my mom had swept the, the mice right next to each other. And so, and I didn't want to catch it on camera, because what ended up happening was, one of the mice was still like a little bit loose, you know, its paws, its hands up here were uh, free, and the other one's whole body was stuck on it, and they were on two separate ones, and so when they were stuck together, or they were when one had the one that had the paws free and going down, it was a lot closer to the other, the other little mice, the other little mouse, and it ended up. Uh, ended up biting it on the neck and it was just chewing at it and I was just like what the heck like what the you know if that would have you know got free it would have just you know it probably would have 
probably had to get one of us or something, you know? It's a rabid mouse. So, I mean, it was crazy. And I didn't want to put that on the camera because, you know, it's a mice attacking another mouse. And so, and there was blood everywhere. For a little mouse, there was blood everywhere. And so, what I ended up just doing was... I got the dustpan and I was trying to sweep it off. Like, trying to get it to stop biting. You know, I was just like, you know, trying to hit it like that. And it ended up killing it. It got it stuck even more to the pad and ended up killing it. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> I killed it. And then uh, the other one, I was just like, well damn, that one's almost dead. So I went ahead and just started doing the same thing and it killed it. And so what I did was just throw them in the trash and that was it. I mean, I feel bad for the little guys, but... I mean, what can you do? You know, they're going to they're gonna be mating and doing whatever here inside the house and creating more, so we have to get rid of them. And we still have traps laying around just in case there was more. You never know. But so far, nothing. I haven't seen anything. I haven't heard anything. And I think what my mom had said, because the other day, uh, see, the other day there was a, my, who are they? My mom's friends, really close friends, they had came and dropped off a stove, right? So they dropped off a stove, and after that, I mean, we were thinking that maybe the mice weren't there because we didn't have anything after, before that. And then when they dropped off the stove, got rid of our other one, we ended up having two mice. So we were thinking that it was probably from that. But, I mean, I don't want to blame them. But that's but that's basically it. I mean, today what my plans are later on, which when I post this, they will have already been done, more than likely, unless I go do it right now, which I might go do because I have time. But my plans for today is to, I gotta pick up my sister. I think I have to pick up my brother from school, and then I gotta go get a couch. Uh, one of my my sponsor's friends, he's a real good friend of mine too, from Herbalife. He uh he wanted to use my truck, and so I was gonna meet them at the stripes, and then we were gonna go head off to the where the the couch is. So that's what we're gonna do then. And then I'm gonna go take it to their house, which is all the way across the other side of town. And then I gotta make it back on this side of town, on the all the way on the other side of town by six, and to do the fit camp because I'm ready to work out. So that's what that's basically my plan. My basically my plan, plans. I'm gonna, and I want to try and bring someone to it. So I'm gonna have to figure out who I'm gonna bring. <clears throat> but that's basically it. I mean, that's all I'm gonna do today. Work out, come home, take a shower, relax, and tomorrow start handing out my flyers again. Cause I haven't been doing that because my truck has been in San Antonio. And my phone's been off, so it's like, you know, if I hand out flyers with my number on it and they call me, no way the, you know, phone's going to be off. So it's going to be like, what the heck, you know, the flyers for no reason. So, phone finally got turned back on. So what I'm going to do is go hand out some flyers again tomorrow and start doing what I do. So I will see you guys in the next one. See you later.